morning. Let's just begin with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name we come on this day asking our Father to meet us in these moments of prayer, to guide us as we pray, to lead us, Holy Spirit, in the things that we don't even know how to pray. So let your spirit dwell in us and dwell in each of those who join us this morning as we cry out to our Father, in Jesus' name, amen. This morning, I just want to start with the appropriate scripture for prayer coming from 2 Chronicles chapter 7, beginning at verse 13, says, When I shut up the heavens so there is no rain, or command the locusts to devour the land, or send pestilence among my people, if my people who are called by my name, humble themselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. So thankful this morning for the promises from the word of God. So many things to be praying about today that are I'm sure on every one of our hearts and not ours alone, but all those in the body of Christ all over the world. So we want to join with them and pray for situations that are going on that affect our body, our church, our kingdom. I'm sure that all of us are concerned about what's going on in the world as if the pandemic was not enough. We now have this other evil of racism, and we know that the devil is on his job 24-7, and we need to be on ours also. So we want to take some time to look beyond our own situations, and we want to lift up the families, just these three families and all those in the last years and decades that have gone through so many heartaches because of systemic racism in this country. But today we want to focus on the families of Ahmad Arbery, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd. So if you would join me this morning, let's lift up those families and all those that are connected to them, and even you and I, because we are affected by what has happened to those that are in our own human race. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that nothing escapes your notice. Nothing goes on in your world that you are not a part of and that you don't allow by your own permission. We know that everything that goes on in the world is certainly not a part of your perfect will, but it is permitted in your permissive will. We don't always understand everything, God, and many things hurt our hearts and our minds, God. But we lift up today, God, the families of Ahmaud Arbery and Breonna Taylor and George Floyd, Lord, because we've all been affected by the evil that has come to these families, Lord. And there are so many more that we cannot name, Lord, not just black families, Lord, but every family that has suffered because of evil, Lord. But your word says, if your people, we recognize that people that are influenced by demonic forces are not your people at this time. They are not submitted to your will. They are not under your leadership, but they do not escape your authority, Lord. And so, God, we are your people, and we are called by your name. We are the Christians. We are the small Christ. We are the ones who exude the spirit of the living God in this world. You said if your people that are called by your name would humble themselves that we would take down at the moment from all of the things that are concerning us and put the things that concern you. If we would take those things and put them at the forefront, if we would humble ourselves and pray earnestly, fervently, Lord, and seek your face, look for you, put you in front of us and not behind us. If we would seek your face and repent and turn and move away from those things that are not of God, our own lives and behalf of our others, God, others in the world, we pray and repent 
in their behalf. You said, then will we hear from heaven and you will forgive our sin and heal our land. We need a healing in our land today, God. These families need comfort. Lord, not only them, but so many of us, even in our own church families and our greater church families and our district union and our Middlesex Central, Lord, we have lost loved ones, God, due to evil and due to disease, Lord, and due to so many things that are going on in this world that we know must break your heart, Lord. The things that break your heart, God, are the things that ought to break our hearts, Lord God. We know, Father, that you cannot be getting glory from this evil, Lord. So we pray that you would move it, that you would get rid of it, that you would heal our land, God. We need a healing in our land, Father. These families that are broken, that are bruised, Lord God, for senseless, senseless, senseless crimes, God. We pray that you would intervene, Father. We need a healing in our land, Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we humbly cry out to you and ask you, God, to intervene, to touch, God, those that are doing the right thing, those that are standing up, Lord God, and moving peacefully, God, in your name, because we know that peaceful resistance gets the attention of those that are in power. We pray for those that are looting and those that are doing evil, God, those that are breaking into businesses, those that are doing the wrong thing, we pray for them, God, because we know you don't get glory, Father, out of those that hurt others, God. Jesus came to die for all of us, God, so we pray that you put a stop to those crimes, God, just like we're asking you to put a stop to the evil and to release brutality and all the things that are going on, God. We need our God, the creator, to step in and take over. Take over, God, because we cannot. But you said that the fervent prayer of the righteous avails much. And so we trust you and we take you at your word. But we humbly come to you crying out for your people. Crying out for your people that you would heal our land, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We know that there are some hope members in our families and even in our sister churches in the greater kingdom that have people that are ill, people that are in trouble, people that are on the wrong side of the law, people that are grieving because they've lost loved ones. We want to lift up those that are grieving in our church families and in the kingdom of God, the body of Christ. We've got to pray for one another. The, the weak have to have their infirmities borne by those of us who are stronger, stronger and more mature in the Lord. So we want to lift up our Hope family and our other churches who have people that are ill, people that are at death's door, people that are grieving. We want to just lift those up right now. Heavenly Father, we lift up the members of Hope Church and all those that have sick or ill friends and family, Lord, some that have lost loved ones, God, some that feel like I can't lose any more, Father, I can't see any more death, God. Those are the ones we need you to hold up, God. And those that have been praying for sick family members, God, that look like they're going to leave here, God, but you are yet the author and the finisher of our faith. You are the one who gives life and who allows death, Father. And so we pray that the God of the universe would step in, put your arms around those that are sick, those that are dying, those that are grieving, that you would comfort all of us, God, as we mourn with those who are mourning, Father, and rejoice with those that are rejoicing, God. You are a good God, and every good and perfect gift comes from you, God. So we pray for your divine protection, your comfort to be around our family members and friends that are going through uh, horrible times right now, God. Our greater communities, Father, that are experiencing so much trouble right now, God. We pray for our family members that are on the wrong side of the law, the wrong side of your grace, God. The wrong side, Father, just looking for you to keep them even though they don't keep you in front of their faces. God, we pray for them, that your mercy would hold them, God, until they turn to you, God. Don't let the enemy take out our family, our friends, our loved ones, those that we've been praying for for years, God. We pray that yet your mercy and your grace would be extended and would follow them and would keep them. Jesus, be a fence all around them every day, God. In Jesus' name, amen. We want to pray for safety and faithfulness of the people of the kingdom. 
during this bi-focused pandemic and this season of cultural evil in our country and all over the world. We want to pray for safety and protection and most of all faithfulness to our God. We need to lift up our president and our country, all of those that are in authority. We look and we see and we are wondering what on earth is going on in the chaos from the White House to our house. The only thing we can do is pray. And when we pray, we've done the greatest thing we can do when we act and become the people of God. But we cannot complain if we have not prayed. We cannot just see evil and then do nothing, say nothing, pray nothing. So we lift up all of our people, our family, our friends during this two-part dual pandemic and let's lift up our president, our country, our leaders, and all of us that are affected by this situation. Heavenly Father, we first pray for safety and faithfulness of the people of God, that we would not be needlessly taken out, God, by sickness or illness or cultural evil, God. We pray that you would keep your fence around all of us, our family and our friends, God. And Lord, we lift up our president, God. We cannot look in his heart, God, only you, Father, are looking on the inside of anyone, God. We only know people by the fruit that they bear, God. And we pray in Jesus' name that you would take full control of this man, God. You allowed him to become president, God. And some of us didn't do what we should have done. We didn't vote when we should have voted, Lord God. And now we are left with what we have, God. But it is not out of your control. President Trump is still in your control. You still Hold the heart of him in your hand, God, and you can turn it any way that you want to turn it. Every senator and the speaker of the house and the congressmen, Father, and our state representatives and our governors, God, and our mayors, God, and our chiefs of police, God, and our lieutenants and our sheriffs, God, and our state police, God, and all of our states, God, we bring them to you, God, not only them, but our citizens, Lord God, some that are doing the right thing and some that are doing the wrong thing, God. And sometimes we just don't know where to look and where to turn, God. But we turn to the living God who is still in control. You have not given your world to anyone, God. And we pray that you would control from the White House to our house in Jesus' name. We humbly pray, God, for our president and the, all those that are concerned with him, God, that it would be no sham. It would be no show. It would be no pretense, God disguised in the right clothes, Lord God, but doing the wrong thing, God, even as your word speaks, because you reveal to those that belong to you what the truth is, Lord God. So we pray for the truth to prevail. We pray, God, for the grace of God to take over, the mercy of God to take over, that there would be a revelation, Lord God, of what you want to reveal, God. We only know what you reveal, and we rebuke the enemy. We rebuke every demonic force, Lord God, from the top to the bottom, from side to side, in Jesus' name, in our house, all the way up, Lord God, to the White House and every other government, God, they are not beyond you. We are all flesh, Lord, and you are the God of all flesh, God. So take control, Lord. Let your will be done, God. Let no man's will be enforced on your people, God. Take control. And we... Pull down every stronghold, everything that exalts itself against and above the name of Christ, and we put it under our feet, under the feet of Jesus, and we are his body. In Jesus' name, amen. We want to lift up our, our pastors, our clergy team, all of our members, all the people in the kingdom and the body of Christ, pastors that are trying to lead during this pandemic, other clergy team and members who are trying to live for Jesus, live holy, and say something. We want God to expose any wolves that might be in sheep's clothing in our midst. And we want the true warriors of God to stand up in this dual pandemic and take our rightful position. For the world is groaning for the sons of God to be revealed. This is our time. It is not the enemy's time. It is our time, our time to show who God is. So we want to lift up our pastors, our clergy, our churches, our members, 
Expose the sheep. Expose the wolves. Expose the true warriors that are fighting the good fight of faith that we would take our rightful place. Heavenly Father, we lift up our pastors, God, the, those that serve you in truth, those that are surrendered to you, God. We pray for guidance for them, God, that you would guide them as they have to lead through this dual pandemic, God. Give them your heart, your mind, your spirit, so they would know how to lead your people and lead your church, God. We pray, God, for all of our churches, Lord, that our sister churches, God, and all those churches in the kingdom, the underground churches that have to hide that they even belong to you all over the world, God. We lift up every church member, God, that we would be faithful to you, God, and we would let our light shine, God, in Jesus' name. God, if there be any wolves and sheep's clothing among us. We pray that you would expose them, not so we can kill them, but that we could pray, Father, so that they would be true, that their mask would come off. Lord, we pray for all those that are hiding behind different things to get their own agendas done, God. Bring us a revelation, Lord God, so that we can pray and strike down everything that is not of you. We lift up, God, the true warriors, Father, that we would stand and fight the good fight, for we are the ones that are the giant slayers. We are the ones that pull down every stronghold. We are the ones that fight with the stones and sling them so that you can help them to gain the right and hit the right target, that we hit the demonic forces right in the middle of the forehead, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and rulers of dark places. Places. But God Almighty is above them all. And so we send our prayers to the throne room in heaven that, Father, you would heal our land today in Jesus' name. Help us not to get weary. Help us not to faint, Father, but to stand strong for this is our time to shine for Jesus. Help us to shine, Lord. Let your light shine. Forgive us for our sins when we've done the wrong thing, said the wrong thing. Father, forgive us and wash us in the blood, for the blood still works. It still works. It's never lost its power. And we come under the blood, the shelter of the Most High God, and we look out and we pray down the kingdom of the enemy. We lift up the kingdom of the Almighty, for our God reigns. Our God reigns. Have your way, God, in Jesus' name. Amen. So that's all I have for you this morning, saints. That is what the Lord has given me for this day. So I'm going to ask you to carry on, continue in prayer today. Don't forget, pastor is coming at 8 o'clock. So we want to end with, let the words of our mouths, the meditations of our heart, be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, who is our strength and our redeemer. God bless you.